already know what it is. We lie with it, right? Mm-hmm. We lie with it. We got to make this shit make sense. Mm-hmm. All right. Mature audience only. You have been warned. If you are not over 18, you shall not be listening to this recording. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Okay. All the minors is out. All right now. <laughs> Real topic. Okay, y'all already know the network junkie gonna always keep you updated to the latest and latest what's happening, right? What's happening right now is I'm just cold chilling with my sis right now, and we just was just really kicking it on some 100 shit about how women, black women in particular, is strong denim. Oh my gosh. Okay. Look, mm-hmm. this is where I'm at with it. And follow, please. Feedback is what the hell we here for. I'm just saying, I'm trying to make some shit make sense. I mean, hey. All right. I'm right here with it. Mm. Black man. Yeah, you might be strong physically than a motherfucker, right? I got it, right? All right. Dope. Remember, I said, M.A., mature audience. Talk to me. You might be strong as fuck when it comes to the physical. But if, when it comes to the spiritual and the mental, ain't no freaking creature, human, that is stronger than a black woman. And I'm just saying... <laughs> debate me I said it I said it you know why they say oh the ma- black man is just they go through so much and oh I'm not I stand with my black kings do not get it twisted <laughs> first don't get it twisted because I stand with my black man and I because you know why because I birthed that black man I birthed that black man so understand that part first okay okay all right we passed that okay right We sitting here kicking it. And we like, you know what? Black women go through so fucking much. Right. You know, we 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 got to see our men be treated like bitches. Mm. We got to see our men get handed they motherfucking asses right in front of us and then still have the audacity to give them respect and to still bend the fuck over for them like we ain't even seen the shit right but let a black woman get raped let a black woman get um degraded let a black woman get beat the fuck up or whatever disrespect let a black woman who the fuck got the black woman back who Sis, who got the black woman back? Sisters. And then y'all want to say, why the fuck they want to say angry black woman? Do you know how many fucking chips a motherfucking got? You hear it and I see it right now. Motherfucking fireworks. Flat the fuck out. You heard it and I see the shit right now. Recorded 1.50 a.m. July 2nd, 2020. The fuck? I'm just saying, again, <laughs> mature audience only. Because I'm not feeling no type of way, but I'm just feeling like this shit just need to be said right now. Not on no angry black woman shit. Not on no, I want to just talk some shit. It's on some, I want the shit to make sense. These conversations have to be made. In order for us to get forward in life. You feel me? It ain't no black man against black woman. Black woman against black man. Black man, I didn't I didn't suffer the hardest. A black woman, mm-hmm. I didn't suffer. It's about what the fuck are we going to do now? What mm-hmm. are we going to do now? That part. Yeah, do something about that. Black man. Stop being so quick to write off the black woman. Because she got a chip on her motherfucking shoulder. Do you know what the average black woman got to go through? 
Not all for just no statistic type shit. Because black women, we don't go through all this shit alone because we do got our sisters. Right. We do have some brothers, some uncles, some granddads, some fathers that still active in our lives. That have been a great pillar for us to get through the absence of our fatherless sons, our fatherless daughters. But it's not as many fatherless sons and fatherless daughters as the world perceived it to be. It's mm -hmm. a lot of successful as black families. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot of dysfunctional ones as well, just like a lot of the other cultures. It's just that the African culture is mentally and subliminally and propagandally. I don't even know if that's a word, but I just made it up. Bam, just like that. Record. <laughs> I'm just saying. Due to propaganda, due to gentrification, due to the Stockholm syndrome, mm -hmm. all of that old extra ass shit, right. we we are taught that we can't fuck with one another because we don't ha we are not competent enough to understand what the fuck real success or real mannerism or real you feel me. Right. But if don't nobody else know, we know we created this shit, black woman. This is for you. This is for you. What? Ain't no black man if it wasn't a black woman. It wouldn't be no man. It wouldn't be a continuance. I can tell you that. Yeah, I don't care if if y'all want to go off this Adam and Eve shit. I don't care if Adam was born first. Guess what? It wouldn't have been no nothing else without the woman. I can tell you that because we Adam and Adam wasn't making shit. You feel me? We carry the kids. So just we like the importance numbers. of a male is the same equal importance is, of it is that black woman as well. Without the black woman, black man, you will not be. Without the black man, black woman, you will not be. Understand that in its fullness. Now remember who you in um, your family is black women your family what don't forget your about mother that. your auntie you talk to black how the women, fuck you forget who you was, you forget where you come from what would you do you, who had you? what would you do if you somebody come at your auntie, auntie and talk to how you talk to these little heifers sister. out here how you talk to these little your females grandma, out here females why is you answering niece, to this dumb ass shit cousin. what come on man and you talking to other black women like that it's no difference you disrespect black women, period. You diss another woman that you don't barely know, a black woman, but you don't realize how you talk about black women. When you talk should down never. about black women, then you don't realize you just disrespect you're your family. The, your whole mother, your whole sister, your the whole women auntie. women in the family. All when the you calling a female a bitch, a hoe, a thought. And when you say that, say, oh, that's given. No, that's not different. <laughs> given. If you acting like a thing. bitch, a hoe, it's and no a thought. I mean, it family. is what it is. And that goes yeah, on I'm both ends. That goes on any ends. It don't matter black, white, purple, man, woman, animal. If you acting oh, thottish, if you acting hoeish, if you acting bitchy, that's just what it is. But to just address a woman just because of her color that she's just statistically a certain type of person just because this is what the world perceive her to be mm -hmm. and she has to be angry black blah, because she has a voice and because she stand on her beliefs and she's not afraid of none of you motherfuckers she gotta be angry no mm -hmm. she, she true to self she just need to be loved because what she don't have a lot of the time is that support and being strong and being able to endure all the bullshit, endure having the sleepless nights because you're worried about your brother being able to make it home safely because you know he just took this 12 hour trip on the road to for business, but you know he drove alone. So you can't sleep because these whole 12, 14, 18 hours 
but you still got to go to work in the morning. And then you got your son or, or nephew working midnight shift, knowing they only doing what the hell they got to do. But just in case it's a racist ass, abusive ass motherfucking popo out here, you got to be shaking in your motherfucking boots that they going to be able to call you and say, hey, mama, hey, auntie, hey, cousin, how are you? I made it to work. The fuck, not just know I made it, you know, just saying, hey, I'm at work, but I made it. Do you know the mental that a black woman have to take every fucking moment of every male that's in her life? Granddad, daddy, son, uncle, brother, please call me and let me know you made it. I can't go to sleep. I can't go to sleep until you give me that call. Mm hmm. But how often do you think about if my queen made it home? Y'all want to talk about how we advocate for the black women. Queen this, queen that. We would never let nobody do harm to you but y'all turn y'all backs. And I'm not just talking about the black man. I'm talking about all you motherfuckers. The allies and all. Y'all say y'all respect it, but who in the fuck stands up for the so-called angry black woman? But really, she's not angry. She's just so hurt because of the toxicity that had flowed in her life since she was a youth. All she knew was to protect black men, protect black sister, even if we disagree. But we will agree to disagree because we understand the bigger picture. We are the mother of the nation. Tell me I'm a lie. White women, you learn from us. Your ass was quieter than a motherfucker because they you had no voice. Come on. But I ain't here for all that. I ain't political or none of that dumb ass shit right now. I'm just speaking my truths. My learnings. I mean, go do your own research. I'm just saying, all movements was made because a black motherfucker got tired of the dumb shit. <laughs> you know where we at right now in this world. Ain't no need to even fucking mention it. No justice, no, no peace. Man. But that peace start within. Black brother, black sister. Before we start asking for reparations, fuck they reparations. It's all about empowering one another, accepting one another. Stop looking at each other like competition. Stop looking at each other like, oh, I can't trust and I can't. You know how your motherfucking sister get on your motherfucking nerves? I'm talking about blood sister, right? Mm-hmm. To my blood brother, right? I'm talking about your mama and your motherfucking daddy, your auntie, your uncle, your crazy ass cousin you just can't motherfucking stand but you dare motherfucker do anything a trial you dare motherfucker to fuck with yours that's the unity that we lack but we will and we are standing today and I congratulate you I stand with you I am the reflection of you black sister black brother I love all I love the world I got all types of 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 associates and and friends that I love dearly no need for names because you know who you are but right now I'm conversating with my brothers and my sisters It's all love here. Remember, in order to unify and power and wholeness and truth, we must qualify. What does that qualification look like? It looks like accepting my brother and accepting my sister in its fullness. And saying, what can we do to move forward? What can we offer to this problem? Because solutions need to be made. 
and we ain't got to always change the motherfucking blueprint. Because when the blueprint is written, let's not break the wheel. Let's just enhance it for today's era. Remixing this motherfucker, you feel me? Family. Me bosses. We out here. Red pill, blue pill, the fuck you mean? Black woman. Shut the fuck up and get to work. It's up to us because we raised these motherfuckers. <laughs> That part, let's be honest, re-raising these individuals. So let's get back. Let's get back to where we need to be. Let's love on our people. I know we've been through some shit. We all been through some shit. Mm -hmm. The black man go through the shit every day. The black women is going through the shit. They fucking with our elders right now and our fucking babies. Yes. <laughs> I ain't got a problem with that. So that means we got to put our own differences to the side. We got to get to work. That part. It's the elephant in the motherfucking room. And I don't give a fuck. But I'll be that one to pull it out. It's the success of the sexes. We have views of one another. And some of that shit be on point. Because it's a lot of us that's on some straight up bullshit. But let's call that shit out. Huh, it's accountability time. The fuck you mean? Don't come my way with that bullshit. I'm just saying. I ain't afraid of none of you motherfuckers. I'm God sent at the end of the day. Again. I'm just dreaming out loud. While living a dream. That part. Just here to make sense of a few things. Help me out, me bosses. <laughs> you already know what it is. It's your girl, the Network Junkie. Like I said, I'm going to always keep you updated to the latest. What's happening and what's happening right now is we having real life conversations. Tap in. Stay continued. Drop them links below. Drop them comments below. Let's continue this conversation. That's well needed. In order to change... The bullshit that's happening before us, this punk ass police brutality, this punk ass dumb ass rules, this poison that they 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 pushing on us, this this subliminal bullshit that they putting on our kids through this internet and dumb ass shit, mm -hmm. the the teaching that they teaching our children in these fucking schools that we should have never gave them a motherfucking opportunity to do because I don't understand why the fuck we ain't teaching our own anyway. But guess what? Remix in this bitch. That part. M.A. All attend. Period. Mature audience. Again. Shit real life. The ball's in our court. What you gonna do with it? No justice, no motherfucking peace. Gang, gang. <laughs> peace.